Welcome to the 2018 U.S. Corn Belt Crop Tour brought to you by Farms.com Risk Management, hosted by yours truly, Moy Estino, Chief Commodity Strategist and Marketing Expert. This year we're looking for volunteers. If you want me to come and visit you on your farm, don't hesitate to sign up and you may win a one year free subscription of our new commodity marketing program. It's a new app that's available on July 1st. Download to your uh, favorite smartphone with cool new features. That is valued at about $600. Now, this year's tour is for uh, subscribers only. It's not available to the public, so if you want the insight from the tour, uh, help you with your marketing decisions, you're going to have to sign up for an eight-week free trial, no-risk obligation uh, subscription, uh, and you too can see what we see during our tour. This U.S. crop tour is unlike any other U.S. Midwest crop tour. Its objective is not to count corn kernels in the middle of August or soybean pods, but rather do an early tour to try to anticipate the sizes of the U.S. corn and soybean crops in 2019 and in turn help you, the farmer, anticipate where prices are headed. Along the way, we're going to answer some important questions like, did some of that uh, corn get planted late? Is it impacting the crop? Did we switch any acres from the dry, hard, red winter wheat acres or corn to soybean acres? Bottom line, late planting can affect yields. It's about a 25% factor, as can a good finish, but the more important pollination stage for corn in July and soybeans in August is even more important. We want you to see what we see, so don't forget to look for all the photos and the farmer expert video tip of the day clips in each of the daily bottom line reports. And finally, our, look for our summary video uh, with our final corn and soybean yield projections on July 11th, 2018.